here at Volkov, thought I'd give you a two for one. Want to do a little bit of trolling, talk about how trolling seems to be doing here at Volkov right now. And um, and then we'll move over to the blue, blue, blue bream spot. Just give a couple minutes on the blue bream spot, see if we can maybe get a quick one. Uh, if you've watched stream my streams lately, you've probably seen the blue bream spot or heard about it from others. Um, but I noticed today, here at the beginning of the week, <coughs> The um, Snatcher S005 seems to be doing really well in the Atlantic Salmon. And sure enough, here in the uh, middle part of the map, see there are several of the weekly showing, showing this lure. But um, we are really just trolling around between the islands. Sometimes right down the middle, sometimes kind of along the edges. Still in the deeper part, but along the edges of the deep part. And, you know, it's... Uh, it's Volkov, still getting lots of perch and pike and uh, occasional Xander, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty much been it. Haven't seen Asp yet. Asp are probably somewhere else on the map. But just looking at the Atlantic Salmon, uh, let's see, how long have we been doing this? 25 minutes, so not very long. Uh, already six salmon, none of them big, but uh, 6.6 .6 and a half kilos, the largest one so far. So it does look pretty promising. Uh, all of these lures, by the way, are stock except for this one. And to be honest, I haven't really noticed a difference. But this one does have the 1.0 uh, fluff hooks on them. So the 1.0 one hooks with the red feather caps on them. The other two are the same exact dodger, but we are using those just with stock hooks. The hooks they come with aren't bad hooks. They're just smaller than uh, what you might want to use. So they stock come with the Rage Trouble si size 4. Um, so I, I think it's probably worth at least experimenting with increasing the hook size at least up to large 1. And in fact, the one that I did um, change, I went all the way up to large 1.0 with the... Um, let me just go ahead and show you which ones we're using here. It's basically like this, the Ultra Trouble, but it's the 1.0 size, not the 4.0. But she has, has that red fluff in the middle there. So I changed out all three hooks on that far left lure. Hopefully this will be, uh, actually this would be better if it was an asp, but, oh it is, nice. Yeah, that was decent asp size. But we're coming out here at the end of the day, and as you know, if you've done a lot of trolling, a lot of times the best trolling will be right in the beginning in the morning or right at the end in the evening. And then once it is nighttime, we will scoot on over. I don't want to go this far up. I've really tried to keep it. I mean, this, this eight meter hole here might be just as good, if not better, but I've tried to keep it pretty much between the islands as I've done this testing. Uh, for about half an hour and it seems like they're here. It seems like they're sized okay um, Again, it's probably just you know getting lucky on the the right size. This one's a little better. I believe I'll turn trolling motor off Unless it's a real big one. We won't need to chase it. I guess that's something else I can mention. I'm using 19 fluorocarbon liters on the sides and then I think I have a little bit heavier than that on the one in the middle oh, we've got two decent fish on it appears and the only reason why we're suddenly getting a higher percentage of decent fish is because of the time of day uh, you know three or four hours ago these two fish probably would have been three or four kilo <laughs> and uh, now they're a little bit better But it's always nice when you're fishing at a place like Volkov, anywhere really, um, to have an idea of what you want to do both day, day and night as we see, get spin fishing up to 99.7. Um, and so I know that there's some good uh, bottom fishing, nighttime especially, with the blue bream spot and potentially, potentially a couple others as well. So uh, I figured if we did some trolling, then we could also... Just go check out that uh, blue bream spot in case you haven't seen it. And we'll see if we can, again, can't be patient enough to at least get one blue bream. It, it may not happen. You may just have to take my word for it because they do kind of come in 
uh, they sort of surge. You'll get two or three of them, and then sometimes you have to be really patient, but I can at least show you the setup. Again, I don't think there's anything else to show you about these setups. 21, 19, something like that, four carbon liter. You could go heavier. I, I don't know, you know how much that would impact your bite rate or, or hooking up with a, a larger fish. You're probably fine. I know folks definitely have caught trophy salmon on bigger leaders than that, but because I wasn't sure what the bite rate was going to be like or what we were getting into here, I decided just to go with a pretty reasonable sized fluorocarbon leader. You don't really want to go any smaller though. If you have to use smaller leaders than that, um, my concern would be how many pike are going to bite through your, your leader. And you obviously don't want to do steel because that's going to hurt you on the, the salmon and, and, and everything else. But, um, but yeah, it seems pretty good. We'll, we'll go to about 2200 here. Um, interested to see if we hook into anything decent now that we're back between the islands because really that fish that we just both of those fish we hooked into were a little bit more into north of the eastern island there and um, that may be an indication of I should be ex expanding how far I'm going on the troll perhaps yeah, that's a big bite there always try to get to your lines as quickly as possible especially in a spot like this where you know that there's going to be pike because if it is a big pike and you're using fluorocarbon leaders, even if they're big leaders, your best chance is just to get it in the boat as quickly as you can. Just try to limit the amount of time it has to... I guess I didn't start trolling again. Limit the amount of time it has to, uh, to snap that leader with its teeth. So, yeah. I mean, a lot of perch. Uh, I've actually gotten a lot of bait fish. Um... And I've made quite a few fish pieces. So the bite rate has been excellent. But, but you are sort of having to go through uh, a decent amount of small fish. Kind of waiting on the decent salmon to show up. I'm glad we had that one asp. And maybe in the evenings they'll be a little, or early mornings, maybe they'll be a little more present. We didn't start, I didn't start trolling until, you know, almost halfway through the day. So um it's definitely past optimum time when we started. So if you give it a full day, you're going to get both. There's another ask. But you're going to get both the morning and the evening rush, which means that fast bite rate will hopefully have some, some nice fish mixed in. Something small here. So I'm going to sort of just keep trolling around. Again, just sort of making a circle. I'm going to do it just a little bit longer. And, uh, and then we'll run to that blue bream spot real quick. And think about where we are and how we want to get there. Yeah, so it's right over here for the blue bream. But let's at least make this, make this corner and turn one more time. When you're over here near the shore, on the edges a little bit, even higher chance, I feel, of, of seeing the pike. I did troll Tunguska earlier. I, as always, I don't, I don't think I get quite as good of um, results as many other people seem to at Tunguska with trolling. I did all right. Ended up with about 750 silver. But that was between trolling as well as fishing for sterlet sturgeon and catfish in the evening overnight and early morning hours so at least half of that silver if not more was from bottom fishing not just the trolling trolling was okay but I, all the fish were fairly small for me tried a couple different lures that's a nice asp right there very nice that's going to help with uh with our production for the day was quite nice though and I don't know how active the blue bream spot still is I think it's probably still pretty good um, I, I just know that especially with cafe orders it was not un, un, unlikely to get 300 silver an hour on the blue bream spot itself so I guess what I'm saying is if you don't want to troll then just you know hang out a second because 
the blue bream bottom fishing might be might be even better for you I think once it hits 11 here any second we're gonna head to the dock Alright, see if this is an asp. Late, late bite here. You never know. Asp or Xander would be, would be pretty likely, but it could still be a salmon or something, I guess. Oh, that's a pike. Alright, let's head on over. Maybe we'll get one more fish as we speed into the dock. Try not to break anything, but... Pull it right in. This is going to be a decent fish. Except if it's a salmon, I guess. And we're going to run and get our, our, our rods out for the blue bream. And then we're going to run and see what kind of silver we made with uh, a little over half a day trolling. And then hopefully we'll come back and have a blue bream on. All right, so let's switch it up. We're gonna—I'm gonna put feeders, um, pickers in. Normally, I would use my bonus and feeders for this, but my pickers are already set up, and so instead of making you wait for me to switch it all over to the feeders, let me just get my three pickers out, and we can—I think we can make this work without it being too heavy uh, in terms of the test. The important thing for this blue bream spot, and, and by the way, I think I mentioned this in my um, Bear Lake video, but if you don't, you know, if you if you are able to come to Volkov and fish Volkov and you like doing feeder fishing at all, if you don't sort of know about this spot, this is one you want to get to know. There is often something biting really well right here, 71, 100, sometimes you're gonna cast this way, sometimes this way, sometimes farther right even, but there's usually something going on here. So, so put that to memory. So we're gonna go 25 clip. Let's make sure this is set up right. We're running straight 4.3 line. That's actually too big. We wanna be right around 2.3. We do have this ground bait on. Uh, this is, if you know Moz from my stream and community, He's the one that uh, sent me this recipe to use and also told us about that this spot was currently active. So we're gonna go clip 25 and we're gonna be casting at the second full train uh, gap there, train track gap. So hopefully that makes sense. We're gonna have to cast this a little hard because it's a picker rod, but there we go. Maybe not quite that hard. We'll do about 90%. All right, again with this one. Okay, so this one's too heavy, um, which I think that there's not going to be anything we can do about that. 0 0.23, 0 0.18. I mean, I can try this and see. Yeah, still a little heavy. So let's open this up. The Model 2 picker is just not going to work. So we'll get one of our Boonisons out, and we at least will have the other two pickers in. Okay, so once again, this has got 4.4. .4. So you don't have to use uh, straight fluorocarbon line, but if you're going to do a leader, you probably want to be fluorocarbon at about 2.2. Um, anywhere from size 20. Uh, 20 hook seems to be pretty good. Actually, Hold on, I take that back. You know what we've been using here? We've been using size 10 hooks. And I know that seems huge for blue bream, but the bite rate's been decent enough that it's really been able to support that larger hook. And then you're kind of sitting on mostly just catching really nice markers. I'm glad I remembered that. Size 10 hook is what we've been using. 
I am using loop rig. Um, same thing on this one. We'll just go with five and now it doesn't matter what we use on that blue bream and we'll go to 2.2 so what if you don't have blue bream sorry what if you don't have lar uh, an algae for this spot that's bound to be a question for someone because unless you have leveled up your bait harvesting and purchased a scoop then algae is in fact a gold bait. I didn't have to cast it that hard. Um, so if you don't have algae, you can try bark beetle larva, even red worm. The problem is you're gonna catch bigger fish on those. And so as you can see, the largest ones are coming in on algae. Now we can check US weekly. Sometimes other stuff will show up because not as many people are fishing them. Yeah, it's still the same thing. Nice one at Ladoga. So, um, so yeah, if, if you don't have algae, then you're probably not going to want to quite go with that small of a hook. I'm sorry, that small of a leader. And even if you are, you, you want to lower your friction brake to 10. I'm like remembering all of this as I'm putting stuff in. So we do have too small of a hook on this far left one, but that's okay. We're just going to leave it alone. All right, hopefully we'll get a fish on in the time it takes us to go see what what is going on with how we did trolling for about three-fourths of a day. I will check the uh, total net and then we'll look at cafe just so just for information see what we got and then like I said hopefully we'll have a blueberry moan. I guess if the trolling's working this well 400 silver. I mean, that's just so good. So good. When the Atlantic Salmon are this active, it's just going to be really nice. 229 off of them. 77 because of that 152 kilo asp. Uh, a little bit on perch. A little bit more on pike. We did have that one weird Xander. So very good silver. Uh, and if, and if it keeps up like that, then yeah, I would probably just do the blues overnight and then get back to the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, get back to, that's 32 more silver, by the way. We may catch a nace here. It's a very easy 15 silver nace order. Occasionally people are catching wide eyes, but only if you're using the other baits, not the algae, more likely to come in, I think on the bark beetle or one of the worms for the wide eyes. All right, I see some color out there, right? We got some flashing. Thought I saw something, let's go check it out. So that is very good silver on the trolling, very encouraging. Um, that is as well, if not a little better than what I've seen at Tunguska, for me at least lately. And it was pretty action packed, like I said, pretty high bite rate. So if you're trying to level up your spin fishing still, um, which I in fact am, I'm only at 99.7 on spin fishing, so uh, that's going to be a pretty nice option right now if this keeps up. Let's see what the weather's like today. Little, yeah, I mean, it's good. It's, it's kind of average Volkov temp, so nothing special there. All right, so first fish on the uh, on the blue bream spot. I, I believe this will be a really nice four to 500 gram blue bream, which is just perfect. Um, and it, it's actually kind of amazing how quickly the silver piles up. These these blue bream worth 20, 30 silver each. Uh, let's see how big this guy is. He might be 500 grams, 657. Really nice blue bream. And these guys are just worth such good silver. This is why you have your, this is why you have your, um, if you're using this small line, you have to have these leaders down at like 10 friction break any higher and you're just going to pop the leader before you can even pull it up and this looks like another really healthy blue bream so this spot continues to be so good i mean 750 wow and this will be closer to barely marker size 
but I'm impressed with the bite rate so far. Again, it's a streaky little spot. You know, if you sit here for a full day, this is a river mussel actually. If you sit here for a full day, you'll see times where it's really good, like it is seems to be right at the moment. You'll also go through times where it just feels like you're not getting any bites at all. But it, the silver on the blue bream adds up really quick. If you're also looking for a trophy blue bream, they've definitely been coming out of here um, regularly. And I'm not sure, 748, that's awfully close to trophy size. Uh, I think 750 is trophy. So we almost just landed a trophy blue bream on our, on, in our little video here. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> but, um, all right, let's give this another couple minutes and I will wrap this video up. Again, clip 25. Um, I need to switch this to larger hook. I'm sitting on, what do we have on this one? This is a size 20 hook, which is fine for blue bream, but size 10 seems to be consistently bringing in really nice sizes uh, of blue bream. So I'm not opposed to going up a little bit to an unusual hook size for the blue bream. Now, if this is a blue, this is another really nice one. And you just don't catch a whole lot else on algae right now in this spot other than blue bream. You're not having to, this is a trophy. This is a nice trophy. Well, you know, come visit my house because I'd say there's 50-50 chance that little butte is going to be added to the, uh, the old wall. I really love these blue bream. I think it looks really cool. And it can fit on one of the small hinges. So 50-50 chance. Man, so good. So good. I will uh, let that person know the spot in just a minute here. So that's going to be my personal best on blue bream still not like an epic size you do see them get up around a kilo at times but um i'm i'm still pleased with it very pleased And again, if it's a marker blue bream, you can count on it being at least 20 silver or right around 20 silver. All these are well above marker. You know, even the smallest one we have right now, I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it's going to be nice. Let's see if we have another fish on here. I think we might. At least we're getting a nibble. And uh, just to confuse the matter, we did catch that trophy on size 20 hook. So I will tell you that I, we did a uh, blue bream comp last time I streamed. I know of a guy, uh, Maz, who I was telling you about earlier, who had three trophies in a very short amount of time on, out of this spot within two or three days, real life days. And I, I know that a lot of people are catching really good blue bream on size 10 hooks now i'm, I'm not going to switch that size 20 hook i'm going to keep at least one on size 20 because it just caught me a trophy but um uh, 10s are working as well so and when i have set on this spot for a day or two straight it does feel like you can fish the spot out and you'll start seeing a diminished bite rate so it's probably less best to let it rest which another reason why I felt like it might go well with trolling during the day but it seems most active in the evening and early morning I 
thought we were just gonna be getting one more bite here really quick, but we may not. Five in the morning. I mean, I, I think I'll probably we'll stop the video soon here. But I, I mean, I, as far as like planning out a couple of days straight in Volkov, I would probably stop blue bream fishing around six or seven a.m. and switch back to trolling, unless the blue bream spot for you seems so strong you want to just stay until it it slows down. But you're kind of seeing now how it goes into times where we're just not getting not getting consistent bites. Let's see what this is. That trophy did come in on a bonus and picker. You can tell the size difference already in this one compared to the trophy. This is a much more like average size. Oh, the other thing you catch here besides blue bream, what I mentioned at the beginning, nace. All right, let me, um, I'm gonna leave my rods in, but I'm, I am gonna go back just to show you how much the blue bream do bring in silver wise. Uh, if you if you don't have algae, is it still worth trying it? Um, I think so. I think I would still try it. I would still want to test it out with bark beetle and or red worm, but you're going to really have to play with that leader size and see if you can still catch them. I, I, in my experience, your bite rate on blue ream decreases. Your on blue ream decreases if you use too big of a leader, but you're going to break your leaders a lot on the roach and burbot and other random stuff you're going to pull in when using bark beetle and or um, red worm. So I think that nace, that nace order is gonna be worth doing even though it was a little oversized. Okay, let's look at the blue bream only. So quick 200 silver. I mean, think about how long we had our lines in before we pulled those in, but over 100 silver for a trophy which I may or may not get, but both of these over over 40 silver a piece. I mean, they're just such good silver when they're active like this. It, it really is, it really is amazing. Okay, let's um, let's just run out there and unless, unless something's on, we're gonna stop the video here, but hopefully this has been helpful. Um, I think trolling right now at Volkov is very nice and obviously this blue bream spot is pretty special and I, I you know, before Amber came out, and and if I'm not in the mood to carp fish, even still, but before Amber came out, I always felt like Volkov was my favorite overall place to fish. And um, uh, it's just good when it's healthy. It's really good when uh, I always enjoy it when there's some good bottom feeder spots and when trolling is, is pretty good as well. And it seems to be the case right now. So again, we're going through a little bit of a slower period here on the blue bream. Oh, never mind. Okay, guess you'll get to see another fish or two. All right, so once again on the smaller hook, and we are getting out of like the uh, sort of early morning into sort of regular morning, so we might see a little bit of a decrease in size anyway, but uh, is it a nace? What is that? Yeah, it's another nace. Oh, that would have been even better for the, for the order. So I stand corrected. Uh, obviously, you will see some nace. I, I think... Uh, when I have fished here for an extended amount of time, I, overall I end up with way more blue bream than I do nace. And maybe that's one thing that the size 10 hook does. Maybe the blue bream comes in a little bit higher percentage when you've got a little larger hook and those nace just kind of pass it by some. But you'll definitely have some nace, like here's another one. We about to have three in a row. I'm not sure if this one's actually on. Oh yeah, there it goes. This is something small. Okay. 
as always, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, should be streaming again Wednesday per normal. So Wednesday afternoon or evening. Actually, it'll be evening. Should be able to get a little bit of a stream in. If you can join me then, that'd be awesome. MDog Gaming over at Twitch. Tight lines, everybody. Peace out.